Okay, emergency press conference time. Maybe the craziest one that I've ever done. But what is going on on Wall Street? The way they have absolutely cheated, stolen, robbed everyday people who have been investing with Robinhood and other E-Trade accounts and all this stuff. We are never going to go back to the old ways of doing business. And Wall Street knows this. Now they know that they do not have a monopoly on manipulating the market. They are gonna do everything in their power to go after you and people like me who are not on the side of the billionaire elite. Uh, the people that are elderly, that are, are as knowledgeable as Dennis Ritchie, they're not, they're not our senators. They're not our Congress people. We have people that can't even tell the difference between Twitter and Facebook running our country, much less people that understand what hacking is when it comes to complex financial instruments. Hedge funds are getting smoked. Billionaires are getting smoked. So we're no longer going to let you trade on certain stocks, GMC, AMC, NOC. We're just shutting it off. You can't buy those stocks anymore. You can only sell them. We are going to crash that, those stocks so all our hedge fund billionaire friends can get out and not get killed. Notice, when hedge funds manipulate markets, when they screw over regular people in different companies, when Wall Street requires billions of dollars in bailouts and floats from the Federal Reserve, there isn't any call for more regulation. But a couple of average Joes on the internet make money at the expense of a billionaire hedge fund. Well, that just can't stand. It is one of the most remarkable, illegal, shocking robberies in the history, in plain sight, in plain sight, no closed door meetings, nothing behind, just right in your face, putting a gun in your mouth and saying, give us all your money. That is what Robin Hood, Crooks, Jail, the Citadel, Ken Griffin, Jail, Steve Cohen, the Mets owner, Jail, are just right in your face. They are going to try and make it seem like what everybody were doing were hackers. That narrative takes place early on, they may actually win because the people that run our government don't understand technology, at the very least in the United States. What is hacking? Hacking into a website means I'm breaking and entering into that website and then inserting malicious code in there. They couldn't take that people on Wall Street bets, Reddit, DDTG, fairly, open trade saying we're gonna buy this stock, fair and square, we know there's risk, it's going up. We know we're risking our own money, but we want to do it. To then say, sorry, you can't do this anymore. We are going to crash and tank the market because our billionaire hedge funds have shorted these and we don't want them to loot. The idea across the American elite right now is that what has happened with GameStop is unacceptable. Don't believe me? Check this out. As GameStop and other stocks soared, Arthur Levitt Jr., he decided to weigh in. And if you don't know who that is, it's the former SEC chairman who literally presided over the dot-com bubble and was appointed by Bill Clinton, who perhaps more than any president is responsible for much of the financialization of our economy beginning in his administration. Levitt wrote an op-ed in Bloomberg calling for a full agency investigation into online stock trading platforms and said that social media is taking advantage of users' behavioral psychology and pushing them into dangerous territory. Okay, maybe, I don't even really disagree with that, but doesn't it just tell you everything, that this is what they want to investigate now, that this is what they want the government to do something about now? Don't underestimate how mainstream this view is. Yesterday, the White House press secretary said Janet Yellen is, quote, monitoring the situation. Elizabeth Warren tweeted out that we need more regulation. The state securities regulator for the state of Massachusetts said GameStop trading should be halted for 30 days. And the SEC now says they're working with regulators to assess the situation, review the activities, and other participants. Suddenly, volatility, we can't let you do it. We can't let you invest and put your money at risk. They have no problem with the hedge funds do it. When the hedge funds risk their firms and their livelihoods, that's fine. But oh, no, no, no. When the everyday Jimmy and Joe wants to do it, it's a problem, we gotta protect you. Now, what happened here? With GameStop, you had a hedge fund that shorted over 120% of the available shares, more than 100%, at best immoral, at worst illegal, and as a result of that, they wound up losing money. Shorting a stock means you're betting on it going down. So what people did is, using their internet connection, they used publicly available data. They found out that the shorts were over 120%. As a result of that, they shared that information with other people and said, hey, 
it looks like a bunch of hedge funds shorted this one stock to over 124%, and this happened right as that stock got this new CEO that's some rock star CEO. Here's the other thing. The elites control the institutions. When millions of people woke up and they saw this story and they checked Wall Street bets on Reddit, they decided, hey, you know what? I want in. And so they decided to try. And the companies themselves decided that they know better. They decided, you know what? These idiots don't know anything. They decided to block their own customers from trading stocks that were popular on Reddit. Once again, maybe this is justifiable. When's the last time a major trading exchange or a regulatory body or anyone blocked billionaires from executing their crazy gambling schemes? Never, not once, because they own the exchanges. They are robbing you. They are stealing from you. This is criminal. The Robin Hood CEOs, they belong in jail. Ken Griffin, I just posted an article, he made 6.7 billion on the volatility of the pandemic. Now the volatility is a problem because they're losing jail this is criminal this is criminal and the scariest thing is it's in plain sight then people did their due diligence they read this publicly available information and they purchased that stock at the retail asking price they didn't hack into the brokerage they didn't hack ameritrade and say that their account has 10,000 shares when it only has one they didn't hack into uh, the brokerage and then change the value of the share at the time nothing like that happened Everything that occurred here occurred using publicly available information. The reason that hedge fund got fucked is because they got too greedy and they did too much shorting. That was the beginning of elite collusion. Later in the day, the site Discord, which runs the private chat servers, took down Wall Street Bet's chat form, claiming that they had violated the terms of service for reasons other than their content, claiming that it had something hateful on there. And then the mother load. Wall Street Bet subreddit itself had to take itself private, at least for a short period yesterday, presumably because of threats from the site's admins that they would be unable to moderate the content without running afoul of platform policy. They don't want you to win because they want to save their yachts, their mansions, and everything else they have. It's okay for them to risk money and make money, but if you risk money and make money, no, 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 we can't allow that. This is oligarchy using government and private company control to enforce policies which benefit only the elites at the top. Just because the hacking idea is bullshit doesn't mean that the rest of the financial press is not going to try to run with this because they understand that the people that run our government don't understand technology. You don't know what you're doing. The only people who are smart enough or who are allowed to risk more than they have are the hedge funds and the billionaires. And if they lose, we're going to save them. We're gonna save them at your expense. And it is our responsibility to explain why this is not hacking and to point out to everybody in our life that may not be that technolo technologically savvy why this is BS. This is something that is going to be necessary in order for us to be able to move forward and have a society where things go the way they are supposed to go so that we do not have a government that feels a sense of sympathy for the Paul Wall Street hedge fund that got hacked by these evil people that talk on Reddit in this way. Do you really want your future tax dollars going to bail out a hedge fund, going to legislation that limits free speech of people on the internet and forums like this as a result of people who run our government who are not technologically savvy being able to make decisions? We're going to put the gun in your mouth and we're going to take your money and give it back to the billionaires because only they can make money. I have never seen anything quite like this. It's shocking. And the fact that they clearly, Robin Hood and Citadel, think they can get away with this, they have to go to prison. There has to be class action lawsuits against all of them. But now the SEC is getting involved. They said they're monitoring the situation. The former chairman who presided over the financialization of our economy is like, whoa, you got to investigate this. Everybody on CNBC is calling for regulation. Discord just deplatforms the entire website. Now Robinhood says you can't buy, you know, AMC stock. We'll only allow you to sell it. I mean, there are just uh, TD Ameritrade is jumping in for the good of their customers. This would be the equivalent. If you're in a football game and you go for it on fourth down, you don't get it. And then they call Bob up, oh, we'll give you two more downs. You can't just change the rules without telling anybody in the middle of the game. Everybody watching this video is going to have to do their part to explain to those in their lives why this is BS. The reason that they're using these terms is because they know that these terms will turn something on in the brains of the computer illiterate people that run the United States. And we just 
No, that cannot be allowed to happen. Everybody was playing under the same set of rules. You can risk what you have, what your own money is, and if you make money, great. If you lose it, great. This is not fair. The billionaires, the hedge funds are saying, sorry, we are gonna stop letting you buy these stocks. You can only sell them. We're gonna crash the market to get our money back. And all you people who got fucked, well, fuck you. The irony, Robin Hood, who said free trade and Robin Hood, we take from the rich to give the poor. No, you don't, it's reverse. You steal from the poor and give it back to the rich, you fucking scumbags.